So here we go, we're going to take the line art into the color stage now. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring this background to 100% opacity. And I'm just going to start labeling my layers. Um, so this is the background. And this is the line art. Now I don't want to uh, mess in any way with the line art, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this uh, padlock which says lock all. And this is going to mean that if I accidentally end up on this layer, I won't be able to use brush on it. So I won't start um, painting on this layer by accident. Now the next step is to lay in the flats. Now flats just means um, flat areas of color that won't be, um, they don't have any rendering to them. They don't have any shading on them. So I'm going to start with what's furthest back and then move forward. Um, I guess technically the hair is furthest back, but I'm actually going to start with all the skin. So in between the line art layer and the background layer, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'll label this skin. And now I'm going to just pick any color. It really doesn't matter. And I'm going to pick this horrible green color. <laughs> um, it's a very bright neon green. I don't know, it's not so horrible. It's just very intense. And then I'm just going to select my magic wand. And because in doing this line art I kept everything fairly clean and closed, um, there's not really any big open areas where there's a space between the line and the background, so I should be okay in this. There are some areas in the eyes, but that's okay because we're working on the skin, so even if the eyes get painted in, that's not a problem at all. And then I'm going to take my magic wand tool, and I'm making sure this tolerance is set at zero. And now I'm going to go onto the line art layer again, and click here. So that uh, makes a selection. Now you can see though that there's a gap between the selection and the actual line. And that means if I just filled it in right now, and I have to fill it again on the skin layer, it won't let me fill it on the line art layer because we locked that. So if, if I filled it right now, you can see there's this edge around everything. And that's not what we want. So I'm going to have to expand this selection. So I'm going to go to Select, Modify, Expand. And let's try six pixels. OK, so now I've expanded that by six pixels. And now if I fill it, you don't get that um, gap. Although there are areas that are unpainted that should be painted but we can go in with a brush and clean those up. So this is just to save time. So I um, have to do as little work as possible. Now to clean up, I'm going to use the pencil tool. The reason I'm using the pencil tool is because if I use a brush, it's going to have the opacity uh, selected. So that's going to make it so this might not be purely colored in, but with the pencil tool, um, if I work at 100% opacity, there's no uh, pen pressure option at all. So I can be sure that what I put down is going to be exactly um, at 100% opacity. There's not going to be any transparency here. So again, I'm not worried at all about uh, coloring in other areas. In fact, I could have done the whole thing um, painted with the with the pencil tool. Uh, the only reason I didn't is to save time. So here we go. This whole area seems pretty much done. And now we can move to the neck. So I'm just going to duplicate the same procedure, go to the line art, I select the area I want, 
select modify expand by six okay and then I'm going to go back to the skin layer and I'll go ahead and fill it and don't worry about this whole green thing um, this isn't the final colors I'm just making uh, sure I get all the colors down and this green is very easy to see so I'll be able to see immediately if I miss any spots like here um, in the neck because it's got such a high contrast against the white whereas if I was to use um, perhaps a more pale skin color um, then it might get lost I might be missing some areas that needed to be filled but didn't quite get filled and I will it's on the wrong layer so I have to go back to the line art layer select this arm expand back to the skin layer fill I'm just going to zoom in and clean up anything that didn't quite get filled in and there now we've painted in all the skin area okay now that the skin's done I'm going to work on uh, the clothing and the hairband and the process is going to be exactly the same start with the magic wand select an area then go to select modify expand by six and I will fill that so maybe for the clothing I'll use like a pink color oops make sure you're on the right layer and now if I want to select multiple areas with this magic wand just hold down the shift key and then I can click more areas Just got to be sure I'm uh, like some areas it won't exactly click perfectly, so just uh, when that happens, press Control uh, Z and try again. and I can already tell that this is going to be a bit more uh, tricky so I will probably need to use the pencil tool quite a bit to just to get those areas that won't be filled yeah so we have quite a few white areas <laughs> 